Welcome back to YouTube and fellow berserkers. Today I'm going to be showing you what I've been up to for the last couple of days. I haven't been able to make a video last week outside. The weather was terrible and I was working in the basement. I was trying to produce a cook saw. Now, this is my first attempt and every time I try, I run into some issues and I'd like to share those with you today so that you might not make the same mistakes. Let me go over to the workbench and show you what I've come up with. This is my first attempt. Fits my hand very nicely. I got it almost finished. It would have needed just some fine sanding. And then I set it down and I come back the next day and the cook set is cracked. And then I dropped it on the ground which finished the rest of it. So that was a miserable fail. I was very disappointed. This was like three days of work. So, grabbed another piece of wood and the other half of that log. And I wanted to make something, so I had to finish. So now I have this little scoop here. And this isn't finished yet. And the reason I'm not going to continue on it is that I want the wood to dry out so that I can not have that problem. Now on this piece, this was one piece of wood like this. This was one log that I split down the middle, sort of. And you can see I split it here. And oops, there's another piece. This piece seems to be fine because I split it away from the center of the of the log, the pith of the tree. This was when the tree was just, this was the center of the log right here. And this is where it split. Now I learned you have to quarter the wood off of the center and use that piece. And what I also did wrong is I drilled my hole from the center of the split out towards the outside of the log. So like this log right here, for example, this is a piece of another project that didn't go well. I actually should have started my cup from this side, from the outside of the log where the bark is, instead of drill it from the inside. Um, I believe that might be the problem why that cracked. This log, it was sort of dried. It wasn't a standing tree. It was, a, a, of course, a dead tree that I cut this piece from. But it still had moisture in it, and you can see it's, it's escaping, causing the cracks. Now, I've seen several methods of how you, you can work on it a little bit, put it in, the, in a plastic bag, put it in the freezer and such things, but um, I just wanted to go at it and see maybe what techniques work, what, what doesn't work, and what I can come up with in a reasonable amount of, a short amount of time. So this is gonna be a very exciting journey. I have a little piece of firewood here. <laughs> I'm gonna go take that upstairs. Now I've been using my, my nice axes here. I really love these axes. The Grenzfoss Brück carving axe and the Grenzfoss Brück mini hatchet. Yes, I really like these a lot. I got those in Sweden when I was up there. And then I have the Mora carving knife. That's one thing I have to try to figure out how to do is how to sharpen these carving knives, these hook knives. Very, very interesting, useful tool. That's something I'm gonna have to look into how to sharpen. I've never had any experience with this. I've also been wanting to look forward to using my new tool, my new ad, my new ads, Atzo or Dexel, yes, they call this. And uh, for, for making some bowls and stuff, I got this in the mail the other day. It's a very nice. I'm really anxious to look forward to using it. Never, I've never used one of these. Very interesting. Yeah, well, that's uh, unfortunate. Yes, I have my shaving horse here as a bench set up, and I have shavings everywhere and. Yeah, so, so much for that. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you real quick. Swivel the camera over. Over here on the wall, I've got some nice boards up against the tillering bench here on the wall. I've got some nice heavy boards and I have some really interesting legs to go with those boards. Those boards are going to make another sawhorse and I went and sawed off a bunch of dead branches as feet 
it's gonna look really awesome. So I'm gonna be filming that here soon. I just haven't had time lately. It's just been terrible. Time has been my biggest enemy here in the last couple weeks. I've been just running between things at work and at home and it's been very difficult to even just grab the camera these five minutes now and make this video. But I had to do it. I had the urge to share this with you. As you can also see over here I have two bow stays maybe possible. I'm not quite sure. I have a whole bunch of U logs that I'm going to have to split and try to get some staves out of that I acquired. They're about that time now where they've been sitting long enough. Bow making material up there as well. That's another project for, it has to have the right time for me to be able to have the energy and interest in it to pursue that project. So we're we'll using that a lot last week, making little spoons and stuff. We're doing a lot of experiments with carving so that I get the hang of my tools and I get some of these projects with success and then I'm going to go and actually film something that I can actually share with you guys because every second thing that gets started ends up failing so it's it's a learning process here and it's very very uh, time taking and stressful but it's all for good purpose and patience is a thing that must be involved here so I have to have a lot of patience and so I thought I'd show this and share this experiment Miserable Kuksa fail. Yes. Very, very depressed about that. It's a good example of practice. Unfortunately, didn't work out, so that's okay. This is gonna probably be something really nice. I'm gonna do some carving on the handle. Nothing very special, not too exciting. You see me make this in the in the previous video. This is my my tool for when I'm using striking iron, for example. You never want to strike iron on iron. This is when I'm doing something where I need to hit the back of an iron tool. Not necessarily my nice Genfos Bruck axe here. But I have some others over here. Ah! I get a lot of old tools that I am going to restore here. This is a carving axe. I've got this off the eBay. As, as you see, it's not centered. And this is for hewing logs. This is for, this ax is for, just for an example, if you were to have, out of a round log, if you were to make a square beam, this would have been the ax. And the, the reason the handle is bent, the handle is bent away, I don't know if you can see it, is bent away from the log so that my hand is not in line with my work piece so I don't bust my knuckles. And so this is always kind of at 90 degrees to my work piece right here. And these, all these really need is just a really good hit with the wire wheel and a nice sharpen with the, I'm gonna sharpen these by hand with the grinding stone and polish them up. And one of these is actually gonna go to a buddy I always send some old tools up to the north, into Norway, and uh, I always get these old nice tools here. Looking forward to sending these up in the mail. And this is just uh, very dull. But this is going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And I also got I got one of those. This one, and I have these here. These are pretty brutal. I like these. There's two of these bearded axes. They're also, they're centered, but they're very short handled and they have a really nice, for carving, a really nice grip here. You can really get in there and work as, and work on the uh, on the piece of work. So I really like this, this, this axe, it's really brutal. Looks like a Viking axe almost, but uh, it's what we call a Zimmermann. By a Zimmermann was it's like a woodworker, that, uh, carpenter kind of. Uh, profession here in Germany but they don't make any tools like this these tools are ancient this is probably about a hundred years old and you won't find this in a store if you go looking I have to always look on the eBay and look on the classified ads and they don't come cheap so it's really a rarity to find such nice tools in usable condition so I have two of those and 
couple of that, and I got a whole bunch more stuff coming in the mail. Yeah. All my old draw knives I restored. I like this one in particular, it's one of my favorites. All off of the classifieds. And uh, you don't you don't find quality draw knives anymore like you used to. It's really hard to even find used ones on the eBay here or in this area. Well then, I am going to go start a fire upstairs in the fireplace. It is like minus five degrees. It's frozen. The grass outside, you can stand on it. It's like, like needles. It's really interesting. We have still green grass out the back. It's really weird that, you know, January um, 2021. First video of the new year. Happy New Year, by the way, to everybody who has not uh, tuned in on the community post. And I wish everybody in the new year, it's going to be a tough one, but we're going to hang in there together. And I'll do what I can to post as much content to entertain everybody and keep everybody looking forward. It's uh, not easy here as well. There's some things going on. But look forward to a lot of good content, lots of Viking stuff, lots of Viking projects and the dogs and small adventures. And with that being said, uh, I'm going to go edit this video and uh, get some breakfast. So stay safe and see you soon.